Ready? So go. Yeah. <laughs> Scattering of blue clothed people are all doing wonders for charity. Seems so much further <laughs> than it normally would. Welcome to Dark 26 in the Lake Incredible, but I think. for Alzheimer's Society UK. So come along with us. So we're gonna have a great day. The atmosphere is great already. Give him a smile, give him a wave. You want some nice mementos for the day? Almost ready to go. You're doing an amazing thing. We can't wait to see you back here. Enjoy it, savor it. It's an amazing course with beautiful views, made all the more beautiful by the presence of you fabulous trekkers, looking amazing in your blue, purple, and gold t-shirts. We're following these very easy to see arrows. So we're definitely not gonna get lost. We're also in a crowd at the minute. Because we're right at the start, I'm sure everybody will start to separate as we get round. This is mile one. First mile down. So some wonderful people made us these mile markers, which makes it very exciting to continue on the journey and see what designs they've made. I've not had a look through them yet, so it's exciting. Gives us something to count down. <laughs> Everyone's favourite kind of footage. Sheep. Oh, Castle. Is it a castle or is it just a castle looking house? We love a castle. All the birds. This is a lovely time of day. So we walk in. Is this the lake? No. Oh, where's the lake? There. Oh, there. Just beyond the trees. That's where we're walking. This is the bit we were warned about just to watch your foot in. There's a lot of tree roots. You have to concentrate instead of admiring the view. It's slippy. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> As demonstrated. <laughs> it's a bit boggy. Sheep! Oh, they're all just having a little sleep. Too early for him yet. In. Just reached the first checkpoint at mile four. <laughs> Day's heating up, the sun's coming out, so we'll stop, get sun cream, have a rest, and head back up again. Look at that sunshine. Definitely time for sun cream. Came prepared. Ready? Off. So go. Yeah. <laughs> Shades on. On we go. Oh, can't go that way. Gotta go this way. 
Let me walk over here so that it registers as at the checkpoint. Tick. The group in front of us have got a speaker. Great idea. So we're just hijacking on their, on their music. It's helping getting us round. <laughs> it is. Do do. nice views now look at this and then a scattering of blue clothed people are all doing wonders for charity low cows miles down 21 to go it's fine <laughs> Watch where you're going. Though. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. They do provide good snacks. And quite a bit of incline now. Didn't ask for a better place to do it, really. Yeah. This is stunning. Yeah, it's there and not, not oh, I'm losing him. <laughs> A fly just flew in my mouth. <laughs> Occupational hazard. <sighs> Doing okay though. Really enjoying it so far. It is getting quite warm though, so now the sun's coming up. I have already fallen once down a big hole didn't see because it's all overgrown but don't feel injured so we'll take it to win it does definitely take some concentration though these paths a lot of tree roots and stones and overgrown vegetation that you've got to watch out for so can't go as fast as if you were going just on a flat Straight road. This is lovely. Go. Six down, 20 to go. <laughs> Let's keep on moving. 20 miles left to go, which is the hike that we did <laughs> up to Mantor most recently, which was the longest hike that we've ever done. So we now just need to do that entire hike now around the Lake District and we've already done six miles so feeling good so far how are you feeling Mark? Not too bad I've had one knee twinge so it's just got to hold up I've got an emergency super duper knee brace that might get cracked out at the nine mile point <laughs> yeah uh, but we're doing okay it's well, quite a lot of inclines at the, the minute. minute now this is a broken ankle wait this is like a secret level of a game Take that sideways. Sideways. Go around. I'll go sideways. <laughs> like a crab. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, up we go. Next stop is nine miles for the official checkpoint. Some to the birds. You can just see the lake peeking through the trees there just as we're getting up onto this ridge this is gorgeous this would be a lovely place to stop and have a picnic if we weren't on a mission look at this you can't go wrong Beautiful. Little waterfall. Go 
Is it okay? Yeah, come on. Honestly, things just aren't made for like. Seven miles down, 19 to go. That looks like the spot everybody's stopping to take photos of this amazing view. We made it to mile seven and then Mark's knee went. So we will now be limping the rest of it. Hopefully he's okay. there. That'd be a nice place to live. Although if you could build a house up here that would be amazing because then you'd have the views all the way across. Imagine waking up to this view. This section of the video is just all going to be views but I don't think anybody's really going to complain. You can see that white building a little bit better now. I'm not sure what it is, whether it's a house or a hotel. It's very pretty. Going back down now. We're probably going to lose these beautiful views for a little bit. Still got a long way to go though, I'm sure there'll be plenty more. Okay, we'll level in out a bit more now. Still heading down, but it's less treacherous. Everything's getting a bit more wet and I can hear the waterfall, so we must be getting close. He's taking us down, I can just see the river there. Made it to the river. For that waterfall there. I'm not getting any closer to that edge because that looks very slippy and very steep. But I can admire it from here. And then I need to jump back on trail. Don't think we're far off the waterfall now. Off the off Air Force waterfall. Oh. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, you can see it through there. Yep, I was not messing around over there. Down the bridge. Hobble down the bridge. <laughs> down 17 miles to go yeah it's not the easiest to navigate underfoot it's a great walk but yeah it's not the easiest so there's the waterfall just veering slightly off track let's go see the waterfall there we go, made it to the waterfall. Nice flat deck break. There's loads of these flowers. It's so pretty, all down the trail as well. Black lambs. Aww. 
These are some really nice trees. Nine and a half miles in at the second checkpoint. I've been walking for about four and a half hours. Scanners in. So this is where we are, rest stop two. So the next stop is at 13 miles for lunch and then 19 miles. So it's quite a big, good job. Quite a big gap then. Off we go! It was a bit speedy that considering this, I've got to stop right now because there's a road. <laughs> it's a bit ambitious. So we're going into Glen Coyne's Woods Pastures. Still on the Oldswater Way. Bridge! Tiny bridge! Another little bridge. I'm enjoying all these little bridges. It's a bit overgrown that river. Stunning. Rating on your bench. That's a solid nine, that. A solid nine bench. I mean, that's your view as well. And it's a natural wood bench. Blends in with the surroundings. I always gets points for that. <laughs> Tender. Just six, 16 to go. <laughs> 16 to go on one knee. <laughs> yes, Great. fine. Oh, that's pretty good. Got a bit of an obscured view though. No, 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 you, you get a bit more of all as well, don't you? Another nine out of 10 bench from Mark. <laughs> we have thrilling content on this channel. <laughs> subscribe to see more <laughs> analysis of benches that's not all we do please actually subscribe there's the next marker that looks like a lovely spot there where they're just having a picnic and there's people on paddle boards and kayaks some swans some swans no look catching them swans then there's one actually was his name simon and did he live in Windermere and was he evil <laughs> and trying to steal of all, all our food in the tent? He likes croissants. He does like croissants. He was, he was an evil swan. Front runner for Tree of the Trip. Tree of the Trip. You can't really get much better walks than this, can you? No. It's just wonderful. That house. We could oh. have that one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that looks nice. Sweet. We'll take that one. Yeah. <laughs> I like this bit. Like a little woodland trail right next to the lake. This bit reminds me of Scotland's like Birkin Point. A lovely spot. We just don't have any time to stop. going well. <sighs> 14 miles to go. We've officially reached halfway. We're about 13 miles in at the lunch stop. We've been walking for six hours and 20 minutes. We're walking considerably slower now due to injury, but just gonna limp round. He's doing very, very well, but he is really struggling. Quick lunch break. These look like really fancy sandwiches actually. They look good. A great view to eat them out as well. Come around, 
phone. Second half. Here we go. Good luck, guys. We'll see you there. How cool that sign is for the old police station. I think it's a house now. <laughs> we are having the time of our lives there. <laughs> That's what you didn't want. You didn't want that track, did you? No. Oh, I'll we'll take a walk again because it was just so perfect. Soundtrack's on. We're now the only people around, so why not? Let's have a party while we're all limping around. <laughs> That's such a good campsite. We might have to come back and stay here. <laughs> this is a pretty good view from up here. All the people on the lake just enjoying the sun. We love a river crossing. This is just a hike that keeps on giving. So many views walking around this lake. Definitely recommend it as maybe a couple of shorter walks. But there's some beautiful spots. It seems so much further <laughs> than it normally would. <laughs> We're on the other side of the lake now. There's that white building that we saw earlier, a fair few hours ago. <laughs> we haven't seen any people in quite a long time. So I think we are officially last on the trail, which is fine. At this point, we're just focused on trying to get round rather than any timings. Can't rush an injury. 15 miles down, 11 to go. However, turn of events, we have now been stewarded off and we're having to leave the course at mile 19 because Mark's being declared medically unfit to continue. So we'll see what happens. But yes, we now have a steward guiding us around. It's very lovely, very lovely volunteer. We've got a boat rescue. Say it again, sorry. I'm just really disappointed, to be honest. Don't be. So you can always come back. Yeah. Get yourself fixed and come back. I'll tell you what happened. Yes, it's now the day after. We're sitting by the beautiful lake and having a well-deserved rest before we head home. But we managed to get to around mile 16 and then the stewards came and found us, told us that we weren't going to make the checkpoint in time and that we had to leave the course due to Mark's knee injury being pretty bad and he couldn't walk anymore, which wasn't ideal. So we got rescued by a very nice boat, climbed down, <laughs> climbed down a hill got onto this rescue boat and then they took us back to the finish line where everybody started. The staff 
were absolutely incredible. The event was so well run. Like a huge, huge thank you to them because they were fantastic and we, I don't know what we would have done without them. So it was an amazing experience. We definitely will come back to Alls Water Lake because it, it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful here. So we will be back. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see the rest of our adventures. Bye!